only have an hour and a very full meeting. So I'm going to begin. As the co-president of the American Friends, along with Reverend Gordon Webster, who's continuing a long recovery from COVID-19, I welcome and thank you all for coming to this first virtual tour between Beach American Friends and the Wahat al-Salam Nebishalom Primary School. Others present from our hardworking board of directors, and if you are on the screen, raise your hand to identify yourself. Uh, Judy Dubin, Barbara Ridberg, Bob Green, Gordy Fellman, and Judith Tuller. I hope I have included everyone. Well, your names are familiar to me. And I've always wanted to meet all of you, our supporters and friends in the United States and our colleagues in the village with whom we're delighted to collaborate once again, this time via Zoom. And I see other friends of groups represented as well. I'd like to express my appreciation to the American Friends National Director, Abir El Zawidi, who has been working alongside of Communications Development Director Samah Saleh to provide you with a meaningful experience today. As always, feel free to contact any one of us later with your feedback. Sama. Yalla ya Mahmoud, bittestanna al-mara. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, good evening, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. It depends where you are here around the world. Uh, welcome to our first virtual tour to the primary school in Wahd al-Salam Nabi Shalom. Ahlan wa sahlan. Bruchim Habaim. We will start our meeting today with uh, John Waller from the American Friends uh, of Nabi Shalom Wahd al-Salam. They are our partner. John is a uh, uh, long-term uh, friend. She's a big supporter of uh, the primary school, and she's the vice president of the board, the American board of the Friends Association in the USA. Uh, John, good, good evening. Hi, good evening to you and everyone. Samah, I think you were busy with other things. I basically remarks um, explaining who I was and welcoming everyone. And I also introduced our board of directors and um, expressed my appreciation to you and a beer. And so I think because we have limited time, people don't need to hear me talk anymore. I think we're all very interested in hearing what you all have to say. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, John. And um, here with me in this virtual studio, um, the two wonderful, amazing professional educators, women who's leading the primary school, uh, Carmela Fiber, she's the principal of, of the primary school for the last six, seven years, right? Seven years. Seven years. And uh, Reem Nashef, she's the deputy of the principal, she's res residence on Fuahd Salam Shalom. And she's teaching our children for the last 20 years, right? 21 years. 21 years, okay. Who's counting? Yeah, who's counting? <laughs> like we, after 10 years, like we, we, we stop count, counting. Yes. Um, so it was very challenging year for uh, any educator around the world with uh, the coronavirus crisis and especially for the bilingual education system, you know, um, we mainly depend on meeting the children, hosting them, hugging them, speaking to them with two teachers, Arab and Jewish. And after, you know, with this lockdown and multiple lockdowns, how do you do it? How was your year, Carmela? Let's start with you. Wow. <clears throat> As you said, it was a very challenging year. Um... The distance is really uh, it's really difficult, and since our community is built from uh, more than 20 different communities who comes every morning to school, 
uh, it was really challenging to keep the uh, the vibe or the the essential of community being together because a lot of it uh, um, goes away when you're far away and you sit uh, behind the camera or behind the computer. Uh, but we did our best. I think we also had a chance to to experience new uh, new ways to make it. And uh, as we always said, uh, one of our main duties is to stay optimistic and uh, to find solutions uh, on how to do that uh, in the best way. We did. Uh, we had a lot of uh, self-learning uh, process at school uh, with Rim, with the teachers. Uh, I, I can really say we have a wonderful uh, team uh, at the school of teachers and we studied together how to do it uh, better again and again, every lockdown, uh, every time uh, the situation <laughs> developed. Yeah, we sat together yeah. and we, we learned from our experience. We shared uh, uh, questions with the, with the families, with the uh, we had a shared committee with the parents, so uh, we studied from our experience. We we learned how we can do that better, and I really want to hope that we are uh, stronger now. We had a survey, <laughs> survey for the parents and the children. Yeah, yeah. To ask them and the teachers and the we teachers. Did three... We did it, uh, the three tri triangle, the triangle right. of the parents, teachers, and uh, and the children, and we asked them questions and. Uh, according to the, uh, their answers, we, yeah. also, um, we also corrected what we had to do better to, in order to make learning a better uh, way through Zoom. We focused on three subjects. One, on the technology, yeah. Yes. Because we had at the beginning, we had a lot of technology problems. We needed to... Everyone? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the second and uh, maybe most important was uh, emotional, social questions. Uh, how what do you mean by emotional social questions? Such as? Um, uh, we asked the parents uh, how the kids, how do, how do they see their kids? Are they happy? Are they functioning? Um, we asked the kids uh, if they keep uh, connection with their friends, in what way they keep connection, uh, who's asking them uh, how do they feel, if they have a problem, where do they go? or who they talk with, uh, who they share. The Arab and, and the Jewish families yes. co collaborate yeah. with the yeah. survey. So we had uh, tech and te technology questions, uh, social and uh, emotional, and of course, pedagogical questions. Uh, if uh, about the Zoom uh, lessons, are they good enough if, if it's too, uh, too long, too short? Uh, uh, is it uh, too much? Uh, well, we use other technologies than Zoom, uh, like yes. Google Classroom, and so on. So, so we had a lot of uh, we we collected a lot of information, and it helped us to to make it better to update. Yeah, that was after the second lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Reem, you are a science teacher, you are the deputy of the principal, and you are responsible for the social life in, 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 the, in the classroom, actually in the primary school, you know, ordinary day when Reem is in the uh, playground. She's they the are... barometer of uh, <laughs> our... Uh... So, so, you are the engine, you know, behind the social life in, in, in the primary school. What you did in the Zoom kingdom? Uh, in the first lockdown, it was very, very hard. I, I just, I couldn't feel the children and not all of them came into Zoom because, you know, some, some didn't tell us that they didn't have computers. Some, they didn't have any internet connections. And, and, and I was very frustrated. Where are the children? I had like, I have 21 children in my classroom. I had 10 children coming in, into my class. From the other classes, I had more children coming into science uh, science lessons, but in my home uh, uh, classroom that I that I'm responsible for them, uh, Carmela and I, um, you know, we 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 were advised to call the children daily, and and some parents even didn't answer. Mm. And I remember the last year, 
uh, I wanted to, uh, we, had, we gave uh, report cards, although they didn't come in the first lockdown. And I said, I'm going to their houses. And I sent a message, I'm saying, I'm bringing your report cards to your houses. And I want to <laughs> you see you. Drive yes. to their home. I, drive to Ramle, Lod, and Abu Ghosh. Yeah. They're, uh, they're 25 kilometers far away. And, and only three parents answered and said, yes, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be at home. So um, that gave us a, a, red, a red light that everybody is worried. They're, they're worried they didn't want to send their children because they didn't want them to, um, to catch the, the, to be infected. And there were parents that were just as scared because they had uh, other elderly uh, grandparents at home. We have also the limitation in the uh, transportation. Yes. They have to be like for 40 minutes in the same cab. You know, same, so. yeah, we had lots of problems. We didn't feel the children. And, you know, and when you ask a friend, why don't you call him? Does he live in the same neighborhood? Please go see him. Just tell him Rain is asking about you. We tried always. You know, in, in the, our, like in the Amuta, the edu education institutions, we decided that we are not losing anyone. Uh, like if it's yeah. money, we will help with scholarship. It's a technology problem with laptops or lack of uh, cell phones, or we will trying to help because the system, the educational formal system did not respond very well. It respond, but very, very that slowly. Is slow. Yeah, you told me like we, we yeah. have we received the first computers from the Minister of Education like 12 or 11 months after. So it's uh, and it was only five and we're still waiting for the uh, <laughs> yeah, they for promised the us to have the 20 it, it should have been yesterday and it's yeah, so we are over the corona. We're still waiting for the laptops. Yeah. But, uh, um, 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 you know, our friends overseas were very, very fast. And they, yeah. they, they react and they help us with the uh, severe cases that we, they need laptops. Can you tell mm -hmm. us a story or two about families who needed laptops? in Israel with the high tech uh, thing and like people assume that everyone have internet or have access to laptops. So what's happened? It's not only laptops, it's also a matter of uh, internet connection. Uh, connection. Uh, we do have, let's say we have a, a, a beautiful, uh, a wonderful uh, a student, a sixth grader. Uh, she's from, not from your class, or, uh, Orel. 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 Um, she's uh, living in Enrafa. She's an excellent student. Uh, she's also uh, uh, interested in going uh, next year to a very special high school. It was very important for us that she'll be, uh, uh, she will have a laptop to study. She was also on, a, on the waiting list uh, of the, uh, uh, the municipal council were also trying to get some laptops for, uh, so she was on all the lists and eventually we managed to, uh, to, 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 provide give her, her. to provide her a laptop and she's really, it, it was, you, you saw that it's, it made it so, uh, a difference. yeah, so Different. it was so right, the right thing to do because that's it's the only thing we could do. Yeah, but it's the, it's the only thing that uh, could really help uh, to be in contact because... Uh, yeah, and then she uh, participated in most of the classes. Yeah, she was... So there, there, was, there was another girl, I remember. Uh, she didn't have internet connections, and she didn't have a, a, a computer, but she used her iPhone, her mother's iPhone, yeah. And I would, I would say, why, why are you always late to the lesson? She said, no, I run to my aunt's house because she has internet connections. I sit there, I study, and then I run back home. Wow. And, and it, was, it was amazing because I don't know if she was one of the girls that got the computer. And, and I think I she did, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she another did. story was about yeah. the, the women yeah. or the families who have more than one kid. Like if, yeah. if yes. I have a lot one, of families, one laptop yeah. in my home, I, I don't have three for three yeah. children. So what, what did you do? I think our main message was uh, be cool. Everything is okay. If, uh, be fine. if you couldn't make it, if you had technical problems, uh, uh, I don't know. We're here. Not we're not mad at you. We're not angry. If we call to see why uh, why your kid is not on the lesson, it's because we care about him, not because we want to 
quite forbidden uh, to punish him or to so uh, the message was uh we're in it together and we're going to find solution and we're we'll and find it together yeah. we'll find it together and uh, there were many cases that rani rani uh, the computer uh, the com um, yeah um, teacher he um he took control from his house on on kids um, um computers at home and help them uh with the zoom with google classroom with whatever technical problems they had and we also had uh we built with the parents community community um a small group of uh parents who are excellent in, in technology and they were also helping oh so, so you included group, the skilled teachers yeah. yes. to help yeah. the, yeah. at the Not end teachers, of the end parents, parents also parents. at oh. the end of the uh, question is that we worked that we talked about uh the last questions for the parents were uh, I need technical problem uh, help. Sorry, and uh, another. I'm willing to help. I I can help, and I'm willing to help. And so we use the names of those who need help and those who can help. But there's uh, good things, you know, come out uh, after this year. You know, Carmela, that the, the while the school was empty, uh, we tried yes. to build the playground. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so while we didn't uh, have while to wait for we summer, yes. we actually managed to do that. And when the kids came back from second, I think I think it's the second. second. After, the second. After the Christmas, yeah. My memory is gone now. It's with the this, second uh, time, yeah. Yeah, and they had. We didn't uh, tell them. We kept it a secret. They had uh, the new, um, the new plant in the playground. Yeah. And uh, do you remember that we did the first one? We said it's going to be Christmas party yes. for them, um, so a present taken. for them. Yeah. So this was like Hanukkah again, like Hanukkah it's Christmas. Miracle. It was. Uh, it was another yeah. And they yeah. Were, and they love it. They they really. So uh, we have big plans for the playground. We planned five spaces or spots of uh, the yeah. playground. We managed because of the American friends actually to build uh, two of the spots, two of the areas. Yeah. We still have three to go. Hopefully the German friends will help as well. And um, it's, it's shared effort. And the last one, the last uh, one was donated by the Purple Lady. And we are very, very happy that uh, um, this, is, this dream comes true. At least one thing is, is, is coming true. Um, uh, I want to ask you, Reem, about the, the staff, the new teachers. Uh, we are talking about very special curriculum that we developed. Uh, we invested five years of building the bilingual, binational uh, curriculum that uh, uh, we, we are very proud of. And we have new teachers. And usually you mentor them, you help them. We have the teacher training program. So what's happened to the new teachers when they came to this special school and how they deal with this new thing? Do you want to answer? Okay. I can I, we, no, we, <laughs> at the beginning of the year, they had uh, oh, some sort of uh, an hour it's to meet short. with, it was a short because of the COVID virus, uh, but they have, they, they work in, in co. So to, uh, if you're a Jewish teacher, you'd have an, an Arab teacher working uh, with you. And luckily, it, it would also be a uh, teacher that has experience with ah, the program. So you combine uh, yeah, like new teacher teachers. with expert teacher. Expert teachers. And then the COVID virus, virus came, and then we had to communicate through Zoom. Uh, of course, they, they, we, we told them what we have, what kind... They, they, they saw the book that we have. The book, yeah. It's, and, it's, the yeah. whole program is, is, is actually, in one book. And we're lucky that we had it in one book. It's it's on yeah. it, the it's website. It's also on the internet. In the inter yeah. In yeah. Google Docs. It's, yeah, we were it's on the we, drive. So, actually, yeah. yeah. So we were lucky to to put that yeah, everything online it and to publish it. Uh, this was part of the True. curriculum development. We didn't know that this is will be a very very important tool. Uh, yeah. You know, after all. It, uh, but it, it was on the internet, and, and uh, you know, teachers use it, and you we say that... It, and then we call uh, each other, you know, before, before a lesson, let's say we had uh, last year, at the end of the year, we had a uh, land day, then we had Yom Zikaron, Memorial Day, yeah. and then we had Nekbe. 
and you know the new teachers they 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 didn't feel the 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 to do soul it. the soul of the the, the this <clears throat> village and the and the school so um uh, like if we, we do have an exceptional if yeah. you're looking for uh for stories yeah we have a new we? teacher this year her name is Ilan Neat. yes she wanted to join us uh last year during the COVID, the, before the COVID, okay uh january last year she already came to meet me at the school i couldn't promise her anything but i said <laughs> that I, I i i'll do my best to to put her on on our staff and she uh she connected with with lutfia and with rakefet and yes William. and yes at January last year, but, uh, the, the, six for the audience who do not know, Lutfia and Rakefet okay. developed the curriculum for uh, yeah. three years, but and Rakefet uh, yeah. is and uh, with the staff, and Lutfia is one of the teachers. Yeah. Yeah. She's now responsible. And she's now responsible for uh, yes. Khutam. And I'm, I'm telling you because um, Ilanit. Uh, Ilanit, she prepared herself, she read all the program, she made uh she even made posters for her it's class 100 pages into, it's yeah. 100 pages she read the she book made, for, she no, made for third grade for a classroom third grade in two languages uh she was so into it before the year started and she's uh she's a co-teacher with lutfia and they're doing amazing they're doing amazing wow yeah so that's one of the ways so we couldn't do that, like the training, the um, um, mentoring the, the, chill, the, the teachers and be there for them when they face in question about the new curriculum. And this is part of the training. Uh, we also um, have this problem with, with the Jewish teachers who do not speak Arabic. And mm -hmm. uh, last year we tried to to do something about that, if you want to tell us the story, <laughs> the eight <laughs> children who apply and what we did about about, this, about, about this spoken arabic like what the, teacher, the teachers yes um it's yeah we tried we started a course at school at the end of uh, at the end of uh, a working day and it was really hard for everyone everyone was so tired to and stay their mothers uh, their mothers of young them, children yeah the new ones but uh, um before COVID and before Zoom was so uh, popular, popular uh, we decided to give the teachers uh, a course, uh, a private course online. So everyone got connected with that, with, uh, with that uh, company, company Lingolan, and, uh, and teachers uh, used their, their lessons uh, in, in uh, um, studying. And also the the parents. We had a group, a very successful uh, group of uh, parents, who just this week uh, finished uh, the first course in uh, spoken Arabic, and it was a huge success. Wow! With madrasa. With madrasa. <laughs> With madrasa. Yes. You know, I can I can testify that your your Arabic is amazing you know when when you join the um the village yeah, not amazing, yeah. uh, you understand I we can't we can, a lot yeah i, I still find we it. can't say sensitive stuff around you you understand <laughs> <laughs> even if the words are hard she understands what the sentence is talking yes. about yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, your arabic is improving and um and what was amazing about that uh, online learning that uh, we did like private lesson according to the level like yeah. uh, so it, if you are on, on his yeah so it's it's also where uh, we were able to do that and usually you know in, in formal schools they cannot uh, um, afford you know this kind of courses and and we yeah. we try to help and uh, we are very proud of the results uh, actually so um maybe maybe we'll stop uh, talking about the covid and in general how many students we have what's about the next year um uh, applications what's our situation and there is amazing question and thank you for for sending this about the gender uh, uh balance and uh, usually asking people ask about jewish our balance but what's our situation this yeah. year um we have 300 uh, kids uh, on the campus this year uh 264 of them are uh, uh, pupils of uh, the primary school and the rest are uh, from the kindergarten 
uh, their uh, age from three to six. And uh, uh, yeah, it's okay. No, you are good. Uh, I'm good. Okay. Have some problem with the um, rims mic. Okay, but this, we are good. Yes. Uh, and um, in terms of Jewish and Arab, we are very balanced this year. We have 49% uh, uh, Jewish kids and 51% Arab kids. Uh, in terms of gender, uh, it's a little bit uh, more challenging. We have 42% uh, uh, girls and 58% uh, uh, boys. Uh, it's something that we all, it's always on my mind. Uh, we always try to balance. It's not always in our hands, as you know, because, you it's know. It's a biological thing. Is, uh, yeah. <laughs> we can't uh, give parents uh, an order, please make, uh, start making uh, girls female for, uh, for six years uh, uh, from now on. Uh, but we do, we, we still, um, we do feel... Um, the influence of the COVID on our first grader this year, because this year uh, we opened just one first grade. Uh, we had little changes uh, just before we, we, the year started and we didn't want to, uh, um, to you know, it was a, a, a complicated what's story. Happened that, what's happened that uh, a few Jewish students canceled their... Uh, yeah, what uh, happened is we had, we had a wonderful uh, uh, two uh, class with waiting list and uh, this was at January uh, and then March COVID start and we went on a, on a lockdown. And in August we couldn't... And, uh, then, and then we just actually uh, connected with the parents uh, the second part of July, and um, families had um, um, their fears moved away, yeah. or some, yeah, some families uh, moved away, went back to live with the parents. Unfortunately, some families, um, um, uh, some some parents got divorced. A lot of private uh, problems. Uh, problems. Personal. Uh, we do have, uh, at this point of the year, we have uh, two uh, first, uh, first uh, uh, So I, I was going to ask about this, like, it was unfortunate year when we cancelled yeah. the, the, um, the submission or the application 12, of yeah. 12 or 13 Arab kids because the uh, uh, Jewish families cancelled. But yeah. uh, what we can do this year to avoid this and uh, to, you know, to accept everyone who wants to learn in our uh, system, what we are going to do? It's very challenging because it's not only about what we do, really. The, sometimes situations are, are um, uh, stronger than us. Uh, we do have enough kids for, for two kids. We even for have two a little, uh, for, sorry, for two classes. We even have uh, a waiting list for next year. We did not accept all the kids uh, at this point of the year. What we what we can do is, and what we already sent we sent families um, uh, letters inviting them with the kids um, in, in mid May uh, to come to school because uh, we we only met the ki uh, the parents uh, we did a few Zoom meetings. Uh, and uh, I promised the parents that once the lockout is closed, uh, we're doing um, a meeting, physical meeting, a physical meeting at school, and we, we did. They it really, was a huge success. It was, I was yeah, there. Yeah, it was really it was really good, but but we asked the parents to come alone without the per, without the kids, and normally. Uh, why why did you ask them not to bring the kids? To because it was too children. complicated to bring uh, children to come into contact yeah. together. You can't. And okay. uh, because it was really important for us, uh, for the parents to see the school and uh, before they bring the kids, because if they, for some reason, are hesitating or not still, not yet uh, uh, sure if this is the school they want, so uh, they won't put the kids in a position that they come to visit a school and then it's okay. So. After the open day, uh, uh, we invited the parents to, to fill up um, a form and, uh, and to register to the school. 
and now we can all we, those we, who we know that we have yeah, almost two, now uh, we can, we can uh, invite them and we already did to come with the kids so okay. um thank you Reem, um you you live here in the community and you know it's uh, part of this education to to teach kids bilingual education to be together to be part of the community it's much easier you know to educate the kids from the village because they meet afterward there's a question here about what about the others we know that um, 85 percent or more from the kids from in the primary school come from outside and we have to subsidize their transportation but they in the end of the day they go back home to their original villages so what's the most challenging thing about this method about what's happening in their families and where, and what's the difference between children who grow up in Wahd al-Salam Nabi Shalom and children from outside Um, I can give an example of uh, my children. I had uh, my, four, my four children have passed from the primary school. Um, they're, they're more open-minded. They're more open-minded. They use both languages. They're so bilingual. They're basically. bilingual. They, they use it. Even if, you live, if you're a Jew, Jew and live in Wahd al-Salam, Nabi Shalom, you might not use the Arabic language, but you will understand the language very good. That's the difference. When he yes, came. yes, that's why. And and but, but whereas if you're if you're Jewish and you go back home, you don't use it. You use it only for five. Now we we teach six hours or five. Uh, usually we used to teach seven hours, but in, in during the summer they forget the lang Arabic language because they, they don't practice. They, yeah. they don't practice uh, in the afternoon. Arabs they do practice because they do you look at the t television and they go to the mall. They use the Hebrew language in their everyday life. So it's yeah. easier. It's for easier for them to be bilingual, just like I am bilingual. I didn't. I didn't use the Arabic, the Hebrew language before the year two thousand. Actually, you are tri it. trilingual. You're speaking. I'm, I'm trilingual, <laughs> but but before the year two thousand, I didn't use the Hebrew language. Because you didn't read it. it. I knew Hebrew, but I didn't use it. And you don't use it, and you lose it. But when I came to this school again, I showed the children. Look, I'm I'm using the language. I it, it all came back to me, even if it's hard now. When they leave our school, and I hope we do have a high school, uh, because one of the children today asked me in the Holocaust hey, ceremony, hey. Dror, Dror, he said, Reem, please do that, because I want to stay school. here, uh, one please of the children. Go. And, and if, 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 um, if we do, if they do go on to another school, they'll be like an excellent Arabic-speaking yeah. children. And the, in the Arabs today, one of my class children said, I, I, I was accepted in the, an Arabic school. He's an Arab boy. I was accepted. And I even got in Hebrew 98. <laughs> 98. <laughs> he was saying Hebrew. And you know, he's, here, it, it seems that he's, he's having a hard time learning Hebrew. But when he made, to the yeah, Arab, uh, comparing to, to the, the other school. schools. The Dab today at the ceremony, he, he spoke Arabic. Arabic. I asked him yesterday. We, we, we today, we have uh, the, the Holocaust, Holocaust. Yeah, the Holocaust Day in, in, uh, in Israel, and you did the special ceremony with the kids. And Nadav, he's Jewish kid, who's... Uh, he's a fifth, uh, fifth grader. and he spoke in Arabic. Yes. Um, so, so we'll have, we will listen to Aya now. Uh, I, as a mother of, of three children in uh, the primary school, and uh, she's uh, two, actually two of them two in the primary school. Now. <laughs> one will come maybe next year. Or? He will, hopefully. <laughs> no, I think we still have one more year. Yeah, he has one more year. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Tell us a little bit, you know, you have a um, long term, few years with us, and um, if you want to share with our. Uh, friends, donors, what's your experience as, as, as a, she was a teacher here and a mother. Yes. Uh, about both. I was a teacher for a short time and I'm a mother for a long time. <laughs> Two years is not a short time in, in Wahd al-Salam, Shalom. It's, uh, it's enough. 
my kids now are in the fifth and sixth grade of the school, and I have also a, a son who is in preschool now. Uh, for us, it's a, it's a great experience. We love the fact that uh, our kids get to be in a diverse school and uh, can meet uh, other uh, kids and, uh, and other teachers be part of this uh, community. Uh, you spoke before about the language and you said it's a problem that the Jewish uh, teacher don't speak Arabic. For me, I, I think it's a problem that the Arab teachers speak Hebrew because then uh, uh, my, my kids uh, uh, get the translation. Uh, so uh, I think uh, if uh, they will hear more Arabic, they will be more fluent uh, in the language. And it's, it is important for us, but it is uh, very difficult uh, for them. What else do you want to hear? <laughs> Um, why, why do you think that um, most of the application that we have is coming from the Arab society and not from Jewish families? So they, why do they hesitate more to, uh, to be with this special uh, bilingual system? Okay, so I, I don't know about all places, but uh, we live in Tal Shacha, which is very close by to Neve Shalom. Uh, but most of the kids here go to the local school uh, that is in, in the village. Uh, it's easier for them uh, and it has an advantage of being uh, in the local community. For us, it was important that our kids will, uh, will go outside and, and know that uh, Israel is a place with a diverse community. We want, wanted them to to acknowledge the diversity and, and feel uh, that the Arab community is also part of our community and not feel uh, that uh, this is uh, two separate communities and feel comfortable in, in, in this situation. Uh, but I think uh, most many parents, it's not important for them uh, enough so they will uh, go to another village. Uh, I, I know, uh, I, I don't know about other parents and uh, their motivation. But, but do you think that the uh, political situation in Israel, you know, we have this recent election and um, it turns that the Israeli society going to the right more and more. Uh, do you think it's, uh, will, you know, influence uh, what we are trying to do here and you know us very well? We are in the, yeah, the minority I'm now. Sure. I, I'm very concerned about the conversation and the situation in Israel. Uh, I, I think that uh, you can see it uh, also in the Arab Jewish uh, relationship, but also inside the Jewish uh, uh, community, uh, the, the situation inside the Israeli community is not good now. And uh, we need more places like this school that will help uh, people uh, see the, the power of the diversity and what we can gain from it if we will know how to live together and celebrate the, the diversity. Thank you, Aya. And uh, we are waiting for your third child to join the kindergarten. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Aya help us as well to recruit uh, uh, kids from her community, from her village, and uh, trying to convince her sister as well. And sometimes, like it's it's personal effort, you know. If you know someone uh, and you recruit them and convince them, it's one by one usually, right? Yeah. But still, it's important that uh, people would come uh, uh, knowing the agenda and. Um, and uh, choosing school for that purpose, not not because it's a small, uh, beautiful, place. A beautiful place. Yeah, they yeah. they it, it's it's really important because those who come for uh, for other reasons uh, will go away if they will find 
another uh, beautiful small school or we um do you remember when we were on zoom uh, and i looked at one of the parents and i and she said i came because my uh, my sister uh, told me that she learned at uh, she was a student at she was a, one of our students here and when i um when uh, when I, when I had children, she said, look, you should send your children there. And I looked at her and I said, do you know that I remember you? It was like 19 years ago. <laughs> wow. She looks like her sister. She was part, they're, they're, two, they're twins. And she said, yes, I, I wanted to bring my children to your school. Actually, last year also we had a mother who graduated the school yeah. and she's she she's a young mom there. and she tried to yeah. uh, to get into so the... It's, it's also the, the, our, like the, our graduates, they get married and they remember that, look, on this hillside, there's a school that's called Wahd al-Salam Nabi Shalom and mm. that, that teaches both the nationalities together. Um, we did not mention how we opened the year with this arson attack, the fires. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, for many, many families, it was a shock. And, and of course, the community here in Wahd al-Salam is that uh, unfortunate incidents or crime that we faced twice. Actually, we are now streaming from the library that was also uh, attacked. And in the 1st of September, we managed you know, we, we have to open our doors and we were shocked by this um, very sad, tragic uh, incident. Do you think it's, you know, have any impact or, or influence what's happened in that year? This, and it was an additional thing with the corona. So it was traumatic for many, many people. Yeah, so we, <laughs> you can tell about that as well. Yeah, it was a traumatic because uh, for some reason, uh, someone uh, spoke out loud, a thought that maybe it has something to do with those 12 kids that we couldn't, uh... we couldn't accept. Uh, and uh, we also had a, a demonstration at the, at the entrance of the school of some families from the village. Uh, who protest on on? We arranged this uh, solid solidarity event, and uh, yeah. And uh, so yeah, we were worried. Uh, even though the fire was not within the primary school, it was something at, at the uh, at the uh, school of uh, school for peace. The but attacker actually, we were we were victim of uh, um, you know. Uh, Tag price attacks and um, racist attack before, and you know that in 2016, 2012, and um, people who set fire in a library and an education institution, they are bad yes. people. They don't really like what Holy we do. Day is a, is a, a day and we think are, about a place where they where, where they burn libraries and books. Um, Parents were worried about uh, the safety of the kids. Security, yeah. Uh, we tried to find security solutions, uh, uh, but it was such a... Um, it's hate crime. And we're trying guess, to distribute yeah. love, actually. So, it's, but, but the fact that um, two weeks after the beginning of the year, we went back home and uh, we had uh, a lockdown and COVID. So, the whole thing just we as a community we're trying to recover we still um we planned the new building of the school for peace uh, that was demolished totally uh we re-established we and re um, to study in those classes i know so, so yeah. it's it's important actually to, to our audience to know that the, the new facility will have two uh, classrooms that we can convert them to the children according to the measures of the and the requirement of the minister of education mm -hmm. and we did that uh, because we are we want to grow up and there's a question from from um from the donors, you know, when, when, when we planned the five-year plan in 2017, uh, uh, Carmela, and we, we published that we want and we are dreaming about international high school, secondary school, and we want to grow up. 
when you started the, the, the school, we have almost 120 kids and now we are 300, uh, around 340. Uh, so we have the, the good number, but still, is that dream to have high school, bilingual high school in Wahdi Salam Neve Shalom? Do you think it's doable? Do you think it's, it's something that we should fight for? Yes, definitely. I think it's a, it's a, a very worthy um, um, effort. Um, no, um, goal. 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 Um, I started thinking about it on my second year, and I spoke then, back then, with Yas, and uh, uh, we went to see other schools, and it was, it, it's not, it, I don't want to say it was, it's still a dream, but we really have to work hard for to make it happen because. But now we have uh, we shared the dream with the municipality, and we, yes, we in still, every council we say that still, a, still this is a um, big step. No, someone needs to take it on him and to do just to do. It's a hard work. It's a lot of uh, um, uh, technical administration, administration uh, process. Process. Uh, everybody says yes, but still. In order to make it happen, uh, uh, we need to work a lot and still um, to look around and, uh, and see that it's not going to be easy because uh, like Aya said before, uh, the situation in Israel is mm. not, so, uh, not so easy. Uh, but you know, all Wahda Salam, Neve Shalom also it's, was it's a dream my, of, uh, know, of crazy people I, who you know, believe like it. to that. call it a, a building, when you build in the sky and then you build a ladder to go down uh, to earth. Uh, th this is why I say uh, we need to work hard. And uh, if we cannot make it possible with the Municipal Council and the Ministry of Education, then the only other way to do it is to really get uh, funds from uh, the friends, donations, and make it private, and just to you know, just to put it. But then we need the village to make a decision that this is what he wants, and we have uh, we have the, in the general the assembly. Land. But in the general assembly, we confirm the the uh, exchange. Uh, La, the land and the, the state land mm -hmm. in, with the with the private land in order we we accept the concept and we want to you know uh to actually solve the problem of the state land by yeah. building international or uh, a high school uh, or a multicultural high school and make it happen uh, so this is yeah. this is will be a compromise uh, a solution because we don't want the state to confiscate our land, and we want to use yeah. it for public, uh, uh, for public uh, uh, sources. So, but we we, are, we actually have have, uh, uh, we have two missions. One is really bureaucracy and uh, making sure that uh, the process will go on, but the other is uh, is to build the pedagogical program of this school. Okay. How do we want yeah. it to be? Because uh, in terms of elementary school, it's a decision of the parents. They said, like Aya, it's important for me. It's I'm going my to, decision. This is my decision to put uh, the kids in, in a school like that. Sometimes it's very hard for the kids, uh, by the way, to, yeah, to, to adopt a school like this uh, because their parents wanted them to, uh, to come. But when we speak about uh, high school, we, we speak about kids uh, at the age of 13, 14, and they can say to their parents, this is the, th the, this is the school that I want to attend. And uh, in order to make it happen, it needs to be at least twice bigger than the okay. elementary school. So we'll go now with like marathon with quick question with quick answers okay. from from uh, from the friends. Uh, there was a question about the gender balance. We answered that, and the balance between Palestinian and Jewish Israel is also uh, 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 we are mostly uh, balanced. There was a question about do we have uh, special need students and and what we do about that. Uh, we do everything that needs to be done. You, but we, we do, do have, have yeah, uh, we do have, we, we even have uh, kids who, who uh, came to study with us uh, from, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, 
uh, with communication, with communication problems, problems from small uh, small spatial classes, uh, uh, and now they are uh, um, uh, well integrated. Sure they are integrated. Thank you. They're integrated in a regular class. Uh, and they're we doing have well. Kids, yeah, they're a doing short great. Short-sighted kid. Uh, a short-sighted kid. Also. We have a short-sighted kid. Mm. We have kids who needs. Um, yeah. So we are good environment also for uh, students yes. who have special uh, We're needs. We're excellent environment for them. Yeah. Because uh, small class. When, so when a... everyone is unique, we, when you have so lot of different kinds of kids, so we became then, blinded with yeah, that. Well, you're okay. a part of the. Uh, so the, the question about uh, um, why the children in the movie uh, do not uh, wear masks and uh, what about social uh -huh. distancing? Uh, <laughs> I think the they're before. I didn't see the the movie. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So the, some, uh, some of the some shots they take uh, uh, after the lockdown and small uh, kids. Uh, no, above even 12 the, there were not obligated to wear masks that's right. at the so, beginning uh the instructions were that uh, you can be uh, without a mask for the youngest most of the uh, most of the kids at the uh, at this movie are from uh, first grade so uh, they were uh, free from masks uh, and we have the small capsules as well we have small capsules okay we are waiting for nadwa to join because she have also technical problem but now she had got the uh, link um, there is a question about the support that we got from uh, the israeli school system and uh, uh, it's mainly uh, personnel, uh, the teacher's salary, um, the, um, the mandatory you know, amount of hours that yeah. we deserve uh, any, like any formal uh, public school. So it's yeah. uh, funded by the state. It's um, very important. It's, it's very, very important. Essential things the, it's for it's uh, actually the, the manpower and the teacher's salary, of course, this is very, very important. And we subsidize all the uh, other the extra. the extras. Uh, uh, and we need help for that. Also, it's important in the in the public system. Uh, usually, the government take care of the infrastructures, the playground, the uh, maintaining the building. And in our case, because it's private facility for the yeah. community, so we have to take care of that uh, uh, side as well. Um, I don't know if you we have uh, um, uh, Nadwa? Nadwa online. Uh, Howard, she's trying to uh, join us. Nadwa Zaber, uh, she's for with us for the last fifteen years. This is a question for Rim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think COVID <laughs> virus made me forget. Yes, she's like fifteen years. Something like. And she's yeah. she's still very very young, a new teacher, and uh, she grew up, uh, you know, professionally uh, with us. I hope that she will be with us uh, soon. Uh, so, um, meanwhile, we will, I will ask you about the collaboration mm -hmm. with a very small number of uh, uh, schools that similar to us, Hand in Hand mm -hmm. and Hagar, you know, um, um, we are almost seven schools in national wide, Wahta yeah. Salanebe Shalom was the first and old one. But uh, now we have uh, small sisters. So what we do together? Well, uh, <laughs> we tried a what, lot. What yeah. what we did until last year, and you know, because you Samach, you were a part of it, was uh, a collaboration of all uh, that that started from the Veshalom, uh, with hand in hand uh, and the Hagar, with uh, Seminar Kibbutzim. Uh, with, Seminar Kibbutzim, it's a college who, it's a college who train for uh, teachers. teachers and uh, our main goal was to to build or to create uh, coalition. a coalition in order to build in the in in this, the Kibbutzim college um, a training for teachers who work not only teachers but educators in kindergartens and teachers who work in bilingual, binational uh, schools. schools and uh, and uh, not only schools, but also uh, um, uh, informal, uh, informal, uh, informal uh, education, education. Uh, organizations. Uh, it was very, very good. Uh, 
but uh, we were waiting for a, a spatial budget from the American embassy and uh, you know, you, we, we didn't have a very friendly ambassador the last term, but well, we, are, anyhow, we are waiting for the new and uh, then COVID new and, and, and uh, so, but then we should during try that, again, maybe. Yeah, yeah, but during that process, we did a lot of work together. Course, we met mm -hmm. together, we thought together, we wrote uh, proposals, and uh, and we have and the we had conference, a, and we had a conference. Uh, and and we shared with them uh, our uh, special uh, curriculum, curriculum uh, of uh, Khotam. And uh, they shared with us uh, this year uh, a special program that they wrote uh, dealing with uh, uh, spoken Arabic uh, for first graders. They just started a new program. Yeah, we were in the opening. Yeah, so that's well. right. They invited us. It was. It means that we have a very good relationship together. Not only that, I show that most of the participants from our school, like eight uh, teachers from uh, our staff joined yes, that uh, I, I training. I told you, we have a really special, uh, very dedicated staff. So when I just said it's a possibility, uh, all the Arab teachers and the, the it's the Arab teachers, not only from first and second grade, said, I want to take a part in this. Actually, when, when I was there in that training, uh, one of the things that allowed that to happen, that we did in Zoom. So uh, yeah. uh, teachers from the easier, north, yeah. from the south. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's much easier to uh, to do like teacher training in uh, on online yes. than traveling. And, and uh, it's, it's much true. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's also, uh, also a positive. A positive. Oh. A positive side of, of what we are trying to do um i'm not sure if nadwa is with us and if, if uh... she was here but she didn't okay ah. so uh, she has uh, internet problems that's yeah, that, that those okay. together from Abu this Bush. afternoon and, and it was so, very so hard nadwa was yeah. living in in a, a mm -hmm. place with, which yeah. was internet like the challenging children, yeah. and she just uh, uh, wrote to me that she have problem with her uh, cell phone as well so um, um, Aya uh, Ramon, she was a teacher and she is a mother. She's she covered uh, the both uh, hats. Um, I think that uh, we are good. I think that uh, um, you I know. Uh, I hope that we manage to give the audience, to give the donors, our friends everywhere. Uh, not only the American, we have also friends from Germany and UK and and Switzerland uh, joining us today. Um, in order to continue this amazing, amazing um, uh, process that we, uh, we started 37 years ago, uh, we need you. We need your support. We need your emotional and financial support. Um, I want to uh, thank Abir Zawedi. She's the director of the American Friends Association for very long uh, nights. Uh, she's in Los Angeles, I am here. <laughs> and with the, with 10 uh, hours time difference, uh, she did amazing with preparing this session. I want to thank uh, Reem uh, Nashef, a good friend, good teacher, and uh, the soul of, of our primary school. I was your children's teacher. I know, teacher I know. Also. She know too much. <laughs> She's dangerous, you know. I'm dangerous. I know everything about her. All the secrets about the families. Okay. Uh, Carmela, you're, uh, um, it's your seven year uh, with us. And Challenging uh, year. Um, you made us proud. You made our uh, primary school bigger and and um, uh, professional and out there. And we spoke up. She dreams a lot. And uh, we shared the dreams. Yeah. And uh, he was a, a good colleague and uh, sometimes a tough one, but uh, we <laughs> managed to work together. Um, behind the scenes, if I might say, Howard uh, um, from the CND office and Mahmoud, the technical uh, support uh, guy, um, thank you as well. And I hope to see you. And uh, uh, I believe tomorrow morning you will receive an email from Abir, the following letter from Abir, sharing the materials, the recording of this session, if you want to share it with your uh, uh, friends. Uh, uh, and uh, the link for the short movie that we prepared specially for you. Um, our guests have to go to sleep. It was a long day. 
and we have no not before we say thank you yeah of course, yeah, okay. of course. please yeah. I really want to use this opportunity to say a, a big thank you for all of you uh, for supporting school. I don't know if uh, those of you who visited school know how, how dear okay. this place is and how um, it makes my heart really feel uh, every morning uh, stand, standing at the gate, seeing the kids uh, and the teachers coming in together. Uh, just doing that it's enough just knowing that we that we have our uh, our shared life together uh, as a normal thing uh, it's it's really uh, amazing and thank you for your support not only financial support i don't want you to think that we're only uh, talking about money knowing that we have so many key, uh, so many uh, friends, friends people, around the world friends around the world that think about us that uh, interest uh, in what happened in the village at, at school it's really amazing and uh, I want to thank you for that especially for that and and I will uh, I will also add to Carmela's uh, words that even when when we go around the school and they see the um, the signs this is from the American friends or this is from or around the Wahd Salam Nabe Shalom I, I explain to them and I say, look, we have friends all around the world. They themselves feel so proud that, wow, we are appreciated also around the world and they know what we're doing and they like what we're doing. So the kids are also, they also, they they're like actors in front of cameras, they, they, they <laughs> call themselves. And they're also journalists and they're ambassadors for us. So th really thank you for all that you're doing. And thank you, Samah, also. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, thank you so much for organizing you, such Carmel. a night when we had a long day. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. I wish you very nice thank weekend. Thank you. Really thank you. Ladies. And thank you. Uh, thank you and uh, have a nice weekend. Thanks. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much.